Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday at 10 a.m., staff or volunteers from the Cam will highlight an artwork from the museum. So check this page Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. for more. My name is Andrew. I'm the Associate Director of Docent Learning at the Cincinnati Art Museum. And before we look at an artwork today, I'd like you to turn your focus away from the screen real quick, either closing your eyes or finding a blank space near you. Imagine that you were asked to describe the experience of feeling connected and disconnected to the world around you all at the same time. What would that look like? What colors, shapes, or lines do you see? Take a moment to think about it, and maybe if it helps, to think about a time in your life when you felt connected and disconnected at the same time. All right, bring your focus back to the screen. Let's look at this print called The Residual by Julie Moretu. She's an Ethiopian American artist who was born in 1970 and is still actively making art today. Julie made this print in 2007 using a variety of printmaking techniques from etching in dry point for the line work to color sugar lift and spit bite aqua tints for some of the spots of color that you see. It was given as a gift to the museum in 2010. The print itself is 35, 13 16 inches long and 44 and 13 16 inches wide. This print is a complex combination of lines and smudges that are mostly made in shades of black ink, but I see some faint accents of blue, orange, and red in places. There's a concentration of marks in the middle of the print with lines and clusters of lines that seem to shoot out toward all four corners. The top left corner has a lot of faint lines layered on top of each other. Moving to the top right corner, there's some negative space making way for what looks like thicker lines that are easier to notice. Along the right side toward the bottom right corner, there's a mix of lines and clusters of short thick lines that mostly point downward. And moving to the bottom left corner, there are a lot of angled lines, some close together like triangles that point up. So many of these lines seem to be moving toward the middle, or maybe they're moving out from the middle to the rest of the print. I tried to describe it for those of you who can't see it, but I also wanted to bring your attention to as many of the details in this print as I could. Even though it's hard to know exactly what we're looking at as a whole artwork, we see marks and shapes that we recognize, even if it's only a short line. But that brings me back to the question I asked you at the beginning of the video. I wonder how many of you thought of something like this when I asked you to imagine what it looks and feels like to be connected and disconnected at the same time. Julie Moretu is known for creating large-scale paintings that are made up of lines and smudges that build up into something whole. Over the years, she's been inspired by architecture and landscapes, but also what it's like to live within those things. She often reflects on the effects of Western colonization and violence as she creates her art, maybe as if she's showing us how we can possibly feel whole and spread apart all at the same time. We tend to look at buildings and landscapes as complete, especially when we look at artworks of those things, but they're all made up of little parts. But we can also be in the midst of a hillside or a library and mentally feel like there's something missing, like we're not all there. Even if Julie Moretu's art challenges us to know what we're looking at, I love that it exists because it speaks to something we all feel. Mm -hmm.